right, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up today. We're going to be in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We're going to look at verses 16 through 18. And uh, we're going to do another week here. We're looking at the spiritual toolbox because it's important that as a believer, you know what tools you have to do the will of God, to serve the Lord. And uh, last week we looked at being spiritually minded and in the world we're in, I just, I just sense the Lord wanted me to do another week here of looking at things from a spiritual perspective. You know, uh, there's an old saying, if, if, uh, if, you're, if you're not spiritually minded, you'll be of no earthly good. And it's so true. You know, if the enemy can get your eyes off of the Lord and off of the kingdom and off of the things of God and get you to focus too much on the horizontal, the hobbies, right, the stuff, you know, I, even even the the move, you know, there was a move in the church called uh, Promise Keepers where men were going to focus on being men and they were going to be faithful husbands. And all that really resulted in this was the divorce rate rising, right? Or focus on the family, right? Let's focus on the family. And, you know, so people miss church on Sunday to focus on their family. And and then the, the, the kids aren't you know, the dad is not proven to be good, right? The kids aren't following Jesus. You see, that's not what the Bible says. It says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Everything else, God says, I'll take care of it. We got to get more spiritually minded. And Paul's talking to us about that here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. We pick it up, verse 16. It says, therefore, we do not lose heart. You know, when we focus too much on the horizontal, we're prone to lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, the inward man is being renewed day by day. You know, we can focus so much on the outward, we forget it's all about really what's God doing on the inside. What's the purposes of God to, to get us cleaned up on the outside or to change us from the inside? You see, when God gets the inside, the outside will follow. But you can get the outside cleaned up in the inside, like Jesus said to the Pharisees, they could still be filled with dead man's bones. And that's not what God wants. And he says here, verse 17, for our light affliction, Paul says, man, the sufferings we're going through, the trials, the persecutions, it's nothing. Light affliction, that's the way we got to look at things, which is but for a moment, he says, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You know, these things are working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. God is at work in us. He's, he's not just doing things that are going to bless us here on this earth, but into heaven. And we've got to be spiritually minded. Verse 18, this is the main verse. While we do not look at, at the things which are seen. Sometimes what we think we're seeing can deceive us. But at the things which are not seen. What's he talking about? He's talking about the spiritual realm, right? He's talking about what he was talking about in Ephesians when he says, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. But at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen, they are eternal. And we've got to get better at this as followers of Jesus, not just looking at the things that are seen, but realizing there's a spiritual realm. You know, I think many believers think it's a waste of time to pray. It's like, well, what's prayer doing? We need to get to work. It's prayer is the work, man. We need to pray. We need to recognize there's a spiritual battle around us and take our eyes off of what we think we're seeing. You know, many believers put themselves in the place of God when we, we judge others. You know, we need to be humble and realize God is the judge. We do the loving, but God do the judging. We need to watch God work, watch him heal people, watch him change people. We need to do our part. And our part, really, truly, if you want to affect the spiritual realm, the first thing you need to realize is you need to let God work inside of you. Work inside of you. Don't fix your eyes on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Heaven, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, the truth of God's word, like the work of salvation. You can't see these things. You can't put them in a bottle and sell them to others. But man, that's the stuff that matters the most. So today, realize God's doing a work in you. See the spiritual realm. Be spiritually minded so you may be earthly good. 
and let God just continue to move in you by his spirit and watch what he'll do. So, Father, I pray you'd bless your people. I pray your word would just be treasured to them, that they would walk with you and talk with you and be filled with your spirit and bless them, I pray. Lord, in everything they, they do, Lord, today, in Jesus' name, amen.